Obviously happy that we won the game. Uh, credit to Illinois, they battled. Uh, made a great uh, run before the half. Thought our guy, thought our defense played exceptional. Thought our special teams made some plays. Obviously knocked in a few field goals tonight. Uh, missed the one that could have maybe made it a three-score game, but um, taking the ball away on special teams, blocking a, a, a punt on special teams, that's kind of the team we want to be. Offensively, I thought Heinrich and the guys um, made some big uh, conversions on a couple drives to uh, extend the game. Uh, found some uh, found some runs. Would have liked to have closed the game out. Obviously, a lot of things that we have to correct in that regard. Um, but uh, with all that being said, uh, for a team to stay consistent with my message, for a team that's trying to learn how to win, uh, I thought for the first time since I've been here, uh, they kept running out on the field excited to play. So when Anthony fumbled that ball at the end, the defense. <laughs> I can't tell you what they were saying to me, but they were saying some things to me. They wanted to keep playing. So uh, that's the team I want to coach, and uh, proud of them. Well, they, they play like a team. Play like a team. Uh, they're tough. You know, we, we went out Sunday night. I asked them, I said, was Sunday night worth it now? And they said, yeah, 100%. Um, you know, guys, were, you know, guys, when the mistake happened, guys were owning it. Um, you know, there's some really good defensive players on that on that football team that we're fa we just faced, you know, on that side. And I thought, for the most part, you know, we had good protection. Um, so I, I think we're a tough, resilient bunch. Um, we didn't like the way we played last week. Uh, we battled here, and when it got easy, it, when it when it was going well, we didn't just relax. Um, again, I'd like to clean some things up, but I thought they attacked. Coach, that first drive, just what, what kind of message did that send? The way you held the ball on the two plays, really inside the one yard line. Um, I thought those were phenomenal plays. I can't wait to see the film because you guys probably have a better view of what happened than I do. Um, and what was interesting about it was, you know, last week, Michigan had, Michigan had always had like an explosive play. And so when they kind of methodically went down the field, you could feel our guys almost like, oh, geez. And we told them Illinois has started with the ball in every game, I believe. And they've gone down the field and either scored or missed a field goal, I think, in four of the five. So they did what they, they did what they planned to do, and I thought our guys held. And to do that, and then to come out and to hit Marcus Washington on that big pass the way we did. Unfortunately, Marcus went down, you know, obviously right after that. But to me, to have a 99-yard drive, even just to kick a field goal, um, that was a heck of a start for us. And that's, I really believe that's kind of what we needed that that resilient uh, that resilient beginning. Back when it was three zero, you went for the fourth and five, and then there was that third and ten conversion to tie on. Do you speak to that sequence and? Yeah, we, we were going to go for them as many as possible until it got down inside the 20. Uh, it was really, really, a, you know, a wind factor in this game, right? Going this way, the wind. You know, Illinois made the decision to take the wind in the third quarter to get back into the game. So in the fourth quarter, uh, we hoped that the wind would affect them. It kind of died down, as they said it would, during the game. But, yeah, we knew we were going to go for it. Heinrich made an unbelievable play. Uh, some guys stepped up, you know, Ty stepped up, Malachi stepped up. Um, and then, you know, they, they ran to cover two on a play that was a man beater. And he found Ty Han. I, I, a million years, you'd never draw up that he'd hit Ty Han down the sideline. Ty made a catch. So I thought we had a bunch of guys, Bullock, him. They all made great catches. And so, you know, it's kind of our process, you know, just keep sticking with these guys, you know, and they stick with themselves. All of a sudden, they start making some plays. They're going to get off that bus tonight knowing they're good football players. I know, I know there's a lot going on. The game's complicated. Can you, can you assess Heinrich? What do you, you think of what that picture looked like to you? I thought it was excellent. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 uh, I, I told him I want to coach him. I'm going to coach him like, you know, I would, I would, I would coach a really good one. I mean, he stepped out of bounds on that one down the goal line when he could have gotten another first down. I mean, I went after him in the middle of the game because, you know what, just like last week when I put my arm around him and said, hey, we're going to coach you through it, I went after him there. Um, there was, you know, I was really, really upset with the officials tonight, and I never talk about officiating, but I just want to make sure I defend my team. You know, that, that, that team, for the second week in a row, that team came out and was just yelling, move and stem. You're not supposed to be able to do that as far as I know. I call the league, they say you can't do that. So we're not a sloppy team. Okay, we're not a sloppy team. That, that was, you know, that, that, that is not football to me. And um, I'm, not, I'm not faulting Illinois for doing it. If they say you can do it, you can do it. But, um, you know, we, now, after about the third or fourth time, I was like, at what point are we going to figure out, guys? Every third and one, fourth one, they're yelling, move, go. And we're, you know, our guys are just trying to play football. You know, they're, they, uh, yeah, you yell, move and stem, and the D line's stemming. And, you know, they're, if that's legal, I guess it's, it's, a, it's a set. You know, I've asked if it's legal. Maybe it is, maybe it is. I don't know. But I just want to make sure I defend my guys. So I'm not criticizing the officials as much as I'm saying, you know, they, they weren't just jumping off sides. They were hearing the cadence and we're saying down already and they're yelling, move, and we're jumping. So um, I thought Heinrich handled a lot of things. I think he, sometimes he gets a little bit tired we have to maintain his conditioning. Um, probably some plays he'd love to get back. But he made the big plays when we needed them to. And, uh, you know, 
the way the way they played. They were bringing the safety. They're bringing the corner pretty much every play. Uh, he did some nice job, things in the run game. What, did, what, did, what were your defenders saying after the fumble and the fumble and the fourth down and all those things? What were they saying to you? Like, if you can sanitize that, but <laughs> when they were going back out on the field to yeah, we, another Yeah, MJ said it before the game. The, the scoreboard is, is going to be 0-0 the whole game. You know, kind of what I said. You know, like, our guys, uh, people might not like me saying this, our guys, they hear what everyone says about them, and they worry about what people think. I've, I've said it week after week. So it's not like I'm ma- even in wins. And I just kept saying, like, at some point you're going to play in the games the way you play at practice when there's no fear of what people are going to say or if you make a mistake. And so instead of just worrying about winning, they just wanted to keep taking the field. They're like, we got this. Let's go. Let's play again. Like, RDV, like Sunday night. They just kept saying, like, play like Sunday night. Play like Sunday night. So, um you know, I got in a couple times, like, hey, and they were like, we got this. Like, like basically, get your ass out of here. And uh, but, like, but that was Jamari tonight. That was awesome. That was that was all those guys tonight. And, um, you know, they can play better, obviously, to give up that one touchdown. But but uh, it's pretty good, you know, Big Ten football to, to hold a team to seven points on the road. And they're in no huddle the whole game trying to you know, get going. So it was pretty, pretty good by us. That first touchdown drive, uh, before the fourth and five, they converted. And their third and five pass got batted down at the line of scrimmage. So what kind of confidence do you Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, um, the plays kind of run together for me after the games. I think it was he was trying to throw a slant to Thomas on the backside. You know, we really wanted to incorporate Fedoni in, into the game, and he had some great had a get great catch. We could have had a couple more maybe, but um, yeah, I mean, uh, Heinrich's getting better every day, and um, we do have to continue to work on him finding windows and getting in between windows, and you know, because he does, you know, he does kind of throw it from a little bit further down here. Like a lot of quarterbacks do, but but we were gonna go. We we told them we told them on Monday, hey, we guys, we're going four downs when we cross the fifty, until it's down inside the twenty, and it's you know a, a give me field goal. So um, we knew that's the way we we're gonna play. Uh, you know, defense wanted to play that way. I think that's the biggest thing, right? Is when the defense is over there, dem- knowing that you going for it on fourth down, or you faking a field goal, <clears throat> or you running a surprise on sides, going back to last year, right? That it's actually confidence in the defense. When the defense wants it, it changes the mood. And so we're not going to be outcome-based. You know, we're not going to sit there and sit there and be like, oh, it didn't work. It must have been a bad call. We're just going to, we're going to call it and rock out and see what happens. And the defense wanted to play that way. That was a, no, that was a deep kick. <laughs> that was just the wind was so bad out there. Like, I mean, the wind was really something. That was a deep kick that just kind of got hung up and, you know, Grant Taggy, I think, went down there and got it because at first they signaled they had it and shoved it in my gut. You know, they were really, they were just excited to play. They were really excited to play. And to make that play plus the, you know, the block, I didn't even see the block. I was turned around and I heard, ah, you know, didn't capitalize on enough of those. Could have been a better game. But, again, we are. We're, we're the same team as we were last week. We're just a work in progress. <laughs> and I'm glad to see the guys have a little success in this work in progress. And they've got to just continue to have that humble mindset of, like, let's get better this week. Yeah, I don't have to prove anything to anybody. I know what we're doing works. No, that's your guys. You yeah, no, they—they're one hundred percent bought in. They really are. I mean, I'm—I'm I, I'm shocked. Honestly, I'm shocked. Like, I kind of sometimes like, and this isn't about me. When I say that, it's not about me. It's them. Like, like when I sit there with Ty Robinson, he's like, man. I think I told this to you guys the other day. Like, he's like, man, these—I'm so—I'm so jealous. These young guys be part of this for, like, working hard is never a punishment, and grinding this week is never a punishment. I'm just happy they got some success from this week so that I could sit there and say. Hey, was Sunday worth it? Kind of, a, you know, not I told you so, but I told you so. And because um, they were a better team than they were last, we, we were better than we were last Saturday, but we weren't, which doesn't matter. So tonight, and then you know, let's just say they came down, they scored, and they beat, they would have won that game. They've been Minnesota all over again, right? Well, no, we're, we're getting better. We're a better football team. I'm just glad they had the results. So we're three and three. We're going to hit the bye week. We're going to come out each week. We're going to play each week. It's not going to be perfect. I just really hope people. Um, Instead of like just jumping ahead to like what we're gonna be and all, I just hope they kind of enjoy this ride. You know, like uh, Coach Riley, uh, Pat Riley calls it the innocent climb. You know, like you know, you know how bad Emmett Johnson felt when he after he fumbled that ball and he came over to me like looking at me and I was like, nobody cares. Let's keep playing. Like now we do care, but this is like this innocent climb where these kids are just out there giving their all for this. You know, and so yeah, sometimes we line up wrong and sometimes we have twelve guys. So that, you know, it's it's not perfect. It's 
It can be a little bit frustrating, but it's a beautiful phase watching young people do something, learn how to win and fight for each other. And that's what, that's what you saw tonight. I said, I will say this, Sam, because you asked me. I got in for the defense. I said, hey, do you guys love AG? <laughs> They're like, yeah, we love AG. I said, he needs you guys right now. You know, he just fumbled his football like he needs you guys right now. And that's when they told me to get out of the huddle. We got this. So uh, we've got special guys really, really, really care about him. Uh, it was his knee. Um, you know, uh, nothing beyond that. So they'll MRI him, I'm sure, tomorrow. Um, I have no idea, you know, absolutely no idea. Uh, he was in a lot of pain when I went over there, but, you know, him and I walked off arm in arm. He was captain tonight, so uh, he was pretty fired up. So we'll have an, hopefully an MRI update. I think I'd meet with you guys on Monday, Tuesday, yeah. something like that. So um, we'll, uh, we'll see, but I hope he's okay. All right, thank, thank you, guys. You.